Hello and welcome back again to the Simpson Guitar Shop. This is going to be our final video blog for the behind the scenes making of the Lady Era Celtic guitar. I know it's been a long time since our first video blog and I did promise that I would speak with you about a special inlay technique that I've used on this project that I call 3D inlay. So let's uh, pick up where we left off and continue our journey. From the beginning of this project, I knew that I wanted to have a considerable amount of inlay incorporated into the guitar, but I wanted to do something special that would bring a new level of depth and beauty to it. So I decided to break with the traditional method of inlay and use what we might call overlay, or 3D inlay. Ordinarily, designs are cut from various materials such as wood or pearl, and then a corresponding channel is cut into the surface that is being inlaid, such as a headstock or fretboard. The artwork is then glued into the channel, flush with the top surface, ending up with a one-dimensional work of art. The technique that I've used here works with more than one-dimensional layer. This is accomplished by gluing the artwork on top of the subsurface and then filling the void areas with clear epoxy. The resulting effect is an image that has depth and dimensionality, sort of like a shadow box. As you can see in this photo, the base layer is an ebony head plate in which pearl has been inlaid around the edge in the traditional fashion. Then we have the top layer made of the coa vine work and the face of the Lady Era. Once the rest of the Lady is positioned and glued to the top of the head plate, then it will be filled with epoxy and once cured, sanded flat. Well, I hope you've enjoyed coming along for the ride with uh, the making of the Lady Era Celtic guitar. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch. And without further ado, I present to you the Lady Era Celtic guitar. <laughs>